Hello everyone and welcome back to the Red Men TV. I'm Lauren, this is Amy, and today we're joined by Liverpool women's midfielder Laura Coombs. Laura, welcome to the studio. Thank, Thank you for coming in. <laughs> um, so we'll just jump straight in. So you've been playing for Liverpool for a number of years now, mm -hmm. but what initially got you into football and what age did you start at? Um, I think I was about five, six, seven, I can't remember exactly when, but just used to play over the park with um, the boys basically and then yeah. ended up getting into the same team they were playing for until I was sort of 11 and then yeah. got into girls football. Yeah. Did you, did it's quite common that though because other people that we've, been, we've spoken to that are quite like elite level football they always say that it starts off you playing with all the boys yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then you kind of like you get to that certain age where you, it's like you no longer can play for the yeah. boys and then it all kind of like switches and goes to a girl's team. It's just mad because it, yeah. it, we, we've both been there as yeah. well and yeah. it's kind of how we've done it and it's kind of crazy how it's kind of, it, it's, it's how it all starts. Yeah. Sort I, of think, thing. I think it's just because in my school there was no other girls that were remotely interested. Yeah. So, so you, <laughs> just, you just like hang with the boys then. So. Yeah, no, definitely. So obviously you're a midfielder as we said. Is there anywhere else on the pitch that you've ever wanted to play or that you have played previously? Um, I think I've been quite lucky. I've never actually really been moved around. But um, I think in another life, I'd like to be a really attacking fullback. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. Bobbing up and down. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be me. Yeah, so you played for Arsenal, you've played for Chelsea, and you've had a spell over in America as well. Mm -hmm. But what drew you to sign for Liverpool? Um, at that stage in my career, I wanted to really become a mainstay in a team. Mm -hmm. At Chelsea I was sort of on the fringes and although I was in a winning team I wasn't happy with the contribution I was given and I thought if I could come to a team, it was a re it was in a rebuilding phase at the time and I thought I could really be a part of something good and that season we were we, we had a really good team. So yeah. it was good. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we just mentioned then quickly you had that spell in America. Mm -hmm. What do you think is attracting players to make that sort of move and what, what sort of are the differences between playing here and then or starting your career over there, this sort yeah. of thing? I think um, everyone grows up and thinks America is the place to go, yeah. especially <laughs> after like Bendy like Beckham and stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But um, <laughs> going over there, I actually realised that football is completely different over there and I actually way prefer it, the English style really? of football. Over there is very athletic and the best player on the team is the fastest player basically. And um, I don't know, over here, I think there's a lot more tactics and yeah. technical side to the game. Yeah. But um, obviously, some parts of America are a nice place to live, so yeah. I guess that Sunshine, helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose if you're like, in LA or anything like that, it's yeah. a lovely place to live. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the amount of, the amount of attention it's, like, that, that the women's football has yeah. in there is incredible. Yeah. Like, yeah. They sell out stadiums and everything yeah. like that. It's incredible. Uh, over there, the men's football is not really seen as a yeah. sport so it's literally the ladies game which is great yeah. so it's yeah. nice to see but um did you have anyone that you looked up to when you were growing up in particular um female wise it was always kelly smith she yeah. was like idol goals yeah <laughs> and, and then male player i i don't know why but i was obsessed with Gianfranco zola i just thought he was really he was a great player to watch so. yeah that's yeah. real Talking a little bit about off the pitch stuff, um, is it right by saying you've got a degree in business, business and HR? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what possessed me to do that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if obviously football wasn't what um, sort of panned out in the future, is there anything mm -hmm. else that you'd either thought about or wanted to do that's obviously off the pitch? Not HR. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did go into that briefly after uni and decided, oh, I did the wrong yeah, degree. I no. okay. But maybe some kind of business within sport. I don't really yeah. see me leaving sport ever because it's just, it's just your passion, you know all about it. So yeah. I'm not sure yet, but I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> so we mentioned before you've been at Liverpool for a couple of years. What's mm -hmm. been like the best moments of your Liverpool career so far, would you say? Um, there's been a couple individual games, I'd say, where I've absolutely like, loved. One... Um, I always say this, <laughs> but the uh, in my first season here we played Arsenal in away, and we scored like two really spectacular goals: one Casimir goal, one Shanice Van Sanden, and it was I think we won two one, two one, three one, three one, something <laughs> like that. But score relevant, we won. So and it was a great game. Yeah. And then 
We also went to South Africa on a tour my first mm -hmm. season here. That was amazing as well. Yeah. So you've obviously been at the club for a few years now and obviously the whole rebuild that happened over mm -hmm. the summer. Um, s some people obviously, with being there for a while, they might have, does have anyone sort of come to you for advice? At the start, I think people sort of were coming from the lower leagues. They wanted to know more about our league and yeah. um, what they might expect coming up against different players, different teams. But um, I think they're they're learning by themselves, to be honest, yeah. week by week, and they're ha that's how they're having to do it yeah. as well to yeah. step up because it is a big change for some of them, but yeah. doing quite well. Yeah. Well, obviously we've got the World Cup too to look forward to in mm -hmm. the summer. Yeah. Um, how do you think women's football will grow from that? Well, you see it like every tournament, Euros, World Cup, Olympics. There's always um, they always get a lot of media attention because they yeah. always seem to do pretty well, yeah. which is great and. Um, <laughs> I, I do think it helps sort of young girls seeing their idols or whoever mm. they look up to on the TV doing well and getting the coverage they deserve. Hopefully it sparks even more young players to get yeah, into the game. Hopefully, yeah. It'll be so good. I can't, I can't wait for it. It just, it, as you said, with the whole media attention for it, it's just each day there's something new comes out yeah. and it's like this, I mean, how many tickets have been sold yeah. or these yeah. players Brilliant. are going to be there in good form and yeah. stuff like that. And it, it's it's sort of like, it's finally getting the coverage that it deserves yeah. in a way. Like yeah. there was a, the one a couple of years ago, which kind of set a platform mm -hmm. again. But I feel like this one is just that little yeah. step higher because yeah. obviously most of the teams in WSL yeah. World will be going full time. Yeah. And a lot of them are international players that will be going yeah. to the World Cup. So I think it's going to be so interesting to see how it all pans out with all these like top class players playing against each other as well. I actually think this England group now is probably the best it's there the has been. So. Yeah. I expect good things from them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So. Just touching on that as well, because you've played for England a few times now. How was that yeah. experience for um, you? Yeah, it was a good couple of years ago now, but it was it was amazing. It was um, tough. International level football is mm -hmm. a step above WSL, in my opinion, anyway. So um, it was it was really interesting to like be out there and play against players. You're like, whoa, yeah. it was good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Starstruck, I can imagine. Yeah, so... It's been like a difficult season this year, you know, a couple of defeats and, but have you been, have you, has it been easy to pick yourself up after them, being like, you know, like a, a more experienced member of the squad and stuff like that, or has it been sort of moments where you've thought, oh, like, I, I don't know how to, how to take that yeah. defeat? You, you would think it actually gets easy, but no, after every game, or even every performance where I don't think we've played well, it's, I, I find myself... I do get down about it. I think all competitive yeah. people yeah, do. I do. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I don't know, and then you just have to take a day to reflect and mm -hmm. maybe look at the positive things that came out of the game if you didn't win, but what did you do well other than that? Yeah. And yeah, it's, it doesn't get easier, but I think that's what makes good players. Sometimes they just have to, I don't know, push through it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the group that you are at the moment mm. now, and obviously you're still learning about each other and you're learning about what, what each of you can do. I yeah. think from what we see from the outside, you are a close group. And yeah. I think, mm. well, you, you can mm. say, but being that close, it, it almost makes it easier in times. Like if you suffered a bad defeat or if, if it's just not, the game's just not gone the way that yeah. you want it to, I think. Um, are you at that stage now where, as a group, you can sit down together and be like, we're not pointing fingers at all here, like, this is what we need to work on and as a team we can do it. So yeah. I, is, it, is it that sort yeah. of relationship that we've got to that point? I would say this is the closest team I've probably ever been in. But I say that every year in Liverpool and then yeah. I think it can't get closer <laughs> and then it does. But um, no, we we sit down regularly together if things have not been good enough. and No one points fingers, but at the same time everyone sort of... Like, is accountable for their own mistakes yeah. and we can quite easily say oh don't think we did this well and don't think we did that but I it, it, we're just comfortable around each other now and I yeah. think it I think it will help in the long run as well no, definitely and yeah. um, so a couple of games left for this season mm -hmm. obviously this has been sort of been like a rebuilding stage yeah. but for the future what sort of, what sort of aspirations do you have for, for this team this season or um, this season in, or going into in next season, season yeah with this season i think no real positional target mm -hmm. but just performance wise yeah. just trying to 
discover who we are as an identity as a team and then put that into performances and then if we get the performances right we'll be happy yeah. in the future I think the club after this rebuilding phase really has to have sort of the top half of the table back in their yeah, minds you again be up there it, there. it has to be because a club of this size it's ridiculous yeah. so yeah I, I think maybe two three year goal would be top four again yeah so. what about you personally um if there is anything <laughs> you yeah. might have already done it <laughs> yeah no of course I, I i would love to always be in a winning team <laughs> or yeah. always yeah. what player doesn't <laughs> but um yeah well i've done fa cup but i would like to see that again more playing more minutes in it um but yeah i'd just say cups and champions league maybe as well yeah, i've not played in that incredible. since i was really young and i didn't appreciate it when i had the chance so yeah i'd like to give a go in that competition yeah, yeah that, that, that sounds amazing cool. <laughs> yeah so I just wish. yeah no, imagine, <laughs> imagine playing in the champions league but um finally then any advice that you give to young girls who are, who are wanting to get into the sport um, I'd just say if they enjoy it, just constantly have a ball at your feet because <laughs> yeah. I, I think the more time you can spend practising and just playing around with the ball, the better you're going to get. Also, just watching the best players out there. If they, like, they discovered a position they want to be, just watch the best players in that position and learn from them. Yeah, because oh, especially like, from since like, we were all playing like, for the grassroots level, it's, it's stepped up quite a lot. Now, and a lot more opportunities than yeah. when, we, even yeah. when we were younger. Yeah. Like. There's so many teams to play for, so if, if anyone isn't in one, I like, highly recommend for, someone, yeah. for a young girl to join, yeah. join a team. Cause that's you, you've got yeah. more time when you're younger as well. Like, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Like, you, you get into school and you've got GCSEs, A levels, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, I think if I hadn't have done it in grassroots, I don't know if I'd have ever been able to get into it. Just yeah. just because of time requirements, when when you're younger, you've just got that ability to be like, yeah, I'm going to go play football today. Yeah. I'm going to go kick about in the park. Yeah, I'm going to exactly. go play with the boys on the street, yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. It's when you get older, it's like, oh, I've got enough yeah. time to do exactly. this. That's what I wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it's brilliant. important. It's important to do it while you're young. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> is, yeah. Well, this has been a, been a great chat. Thank you for joining thank us you. again. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like the video, comment and subscribe to Redman TV and hopefully we'll see you all soon.